Virginia's transportation secretary wants to sell a new road to some rather reluctant buyers in Prince William County. We're talking about the proposed Bi-County Parkway, a link between Dulles and Interstate 95. Stephen Sheeta is live with the sales pitch and why everyone is not so excited about the potential for a new parkway. Stephen? Maureen, the Bi-County Parkway is supposed to unite Loudoun and Prince William counties, but it is proving very divisive at this capacity crowd meeting, which is still underway here in Woodbridge. The proposed parkway would link the bustling Dulles Corridor and the East Coast thoroughfare I-95. In the process, it would cut across Prince William County. This road could be turned into something akin to an outer beltway. And what we'd like to do is lay out a plan in the future. Virginia Transportation Secretary and former leader of the Prince William County Board, Sean Connaughton, visited some familiar territory today. He pitched the Bi County Parkway to the locals. Audrey Dutton hasn't made up her mind, but she has concerns about the proposed roadway because a section would be built over the Manassas National Battlefield. My big concern is that it cuts through the park and I really don't see the benefit. Other opponents fear it will mean the loss of a rural section of the county known as the Rural Crescent. And this roadway is going to go right through the Rural Crescent. The Bi County Parkway still is in the planning stages and there is no designated funding plan, but some people fear the parkway will drain money from other areas. I'm really upset that they have taken money away from education to go towards a road that's not justified based on the traffic numbers that they have published. The proposal does have supporters. We need to have the alignment reserved so as it's there when we need to build it sometime in the next decade or beyond the next decade. The Bi-County Parkway does have support in Richmond among the Department of Transportation officials and transportation officials across this region. They say it's going to be necessary in the near future because traffic between Loudoun and Prince William counties is expected to double within the next 10 years or so. Reporting live, Stephen Cheetah, ABC 7 News.